Day, I went to school and punched a kid straight in the face. I rule the school. No one dares mess with me. Remember my name. It's Gia. That would land Gia in detention for sure. But my plan kind of backfired when both mom and dad were called to the principal's office. And when they couldn't figure out who it was between us, they started blaming each other for it in front of the principal. Say stupido. Yeah, whatever. Same to you. Don't get you. Cosi stupido tu animale. The principal let us off without any punishment because she just wanted to get my parents out of her office. But it's not like they ever stopped. On Thanksgiving dinner, mom served pizza and dad went ballistic. Where's the freaking turkey? Who even makes pizza on Thanksgiving? You stupid woman. Turkey, turkey. Go ask your mother to make you a turkey. And saying that, mom threw a plate at dad, which he avoided. But then dad grabbed the ketchup bottle and pointed it at mom. Don't you dare. This is a designer top. Watch me. And he squeezed out all of the ketchup onto mom's top. Mom shrieked, and soon our dinner table turned into a war zone. Gia and I felt terrible. Mom and dad didn't even care about any happy occasion or us anymore. They just fought all the time. Then one day in the seventh grade, when Gia and I got back home after school, mom and dad finally dropped the bomb on us. We are getting a divorce. Ada is going to live with her dad in Turkey, and Gia is going to live with me in Italy. What? No, no way. You can't do that. No, Mom. No, Dad. I can't live without you guys. I want all of us together. Please, don't do this. But they didn't listen to us and said it was final. Later that night, I went to talk to Gia in her room. I thought she might not listen to me, but she hugged me as soon as she saw me. Oh, Ada, I'm so glad you're here. Even though we fight all the time, I can't live without you and Dad, sis. We have to do something. What can we do? Our parents just hate us. They're selfish and only think about themselves. Then let's just run away. They'll get busy looking for us, and then they'll forget all about this stupid divorce thing. They'll understand how much we need them. I won't let this happen. I won't let them ruin our lives. We have to stay together no matter what. But mom and dad had already filed for the divorce and within a week, they even signed the final papers. But then I had a brilliant idea. I could switch places with Gia and go with mom to Italy. We would tell them about the swap after six months. And when they'd meet again to exchange us, maybe they'd be less angry and realize that they still loved each other. Yes, this was perfect. I immediately told Gia about it, and she happily agreed. Soon after, Mom and I flew off to Italy, and there, Mom had a huge place of her own. As soon as we got there, a maid came running and grabbed all our luggage. Benvenuta, signorina. And that's when it hit me. I could not understand a word of Italian. And this reminded me of Gia. She was also stuck in Turkey and didn't know a word of Turkish. God knows what kind of trouble she was going through. Mahaba birkach arkek alabilishmiyam. What are you saying, kid? Are you out of your mind? Soon after, mom enrolled me in school, and my first day was a complete mess. The teacher asked me to introduce myself, and I said, Ciao, mi chiamo Gia, siete tutti brutti. Everyone gasped and looked at me like I'd cursed them. All I said was they were nice, but for some reason, none of them would talk to me now. The next day during lunchtime, pizza was being served in the cafeteria, but I noticed there wasn't enough cheese on top. Can I get more cheese on this? The server stared at me like I had asked for her kidney. And dude, this was a clear mistake. Asking for more cheese in Italy is considered super rude, but I didn't know that. Cheese? Vaca grassa? The lady glared at me and jumped over the food counter to attack me. She chased me for a mile around the school until the principal caught us both. She sternly told me off for being rude and said she was going to call my mom later. And I felt like a terrible kid. Mom was already dealing with the divorce, and now I was adding more to her troubles. I thought I'd apologize to her as soon as I got home, but what I saw next shocked me. Mom was having a pool party with her friends, and they were all having the time of their lives. What the crap? Mom, what's going on here? Oh, honey, I'm having so much fun. You should join us. 
If I knew life without your father would be so amazing, I'd have divorced him before the wedding. I feel like I'm 20 again. Woohoo! What? I thought she'd be missing Dad and me, but she was having a blast. This was so weird and not what I expected. I quickly went to my room and called Gia to tell her how Mom was going completely crazy. But what she told me shocked me even more. Dad was gonna get engaged within a week. This was insane. We had to get Mom and Dad back together soon, by any means possible. The next day, I was all set to break the news to Mom, but what I saw almost gave me a heart attack. She introduced me to a not-so-handsome man as her boyfriend. Ciao, sono Roberto, signorina. And before I could even say anything, they put me in a car and took me shopping with them. But I had to do something to get rid of all this Italian pasta sauce at all costs. When Mom went inside the changing room, I told him to leave her alone. Voglio che tu ami mia madre. Mm. Suddenly, he had tears in his eyes, and he hugged me. What was wrong? Then he took a rose from his pocket and proposed to my mom in the most romantic way possible. Sarai mia, signorina. Mom looked awestruck, and then she said the words that I dreaded the most. Si, lo fero. OMG, what the heck was happening? Our plan was literally falling apart. The next day, I stormed off to school. But in the school corridor, a guy pulled my hand and started flirting with me. Hi, beautiful. Wanna go and get some cheese with me? I'll open factories for you. Ew, he was so gross. And I was so done with kids making fun of me for not knowing the language. I knew a little Italian by now, so I told him to leave me alone. But he didn't, so I slapped him hard. He left and he went to tell the principal some lies that I forced him to kiss me. An hour later, mom barged into the principal's office and she looked raging mad. Your kid has been misbehaving with our staff and been doing inappropriate things to boys. Mom, I didn't. Oh, I know my daughter very well. It's the school that's stupid and I'm putting her into a better one. We are done here. Oh my God, she was so unpredictable. While driving me back home, I thought mom would scold me, but instead, she said something that completely shocked me. It's okay, honey. If you're ever in a place where you're unhappy, then you can always move away. Just like I did, Ada. What? Did she just call me by my real name? Mom, you know? Of course I know. Well, no. This morning after you left for school, I went to your room. I looked at the ID, it said Mindy. I did. I said, And this person just drove away. I had a hold put on the account. She kind of saved the day. She was my little guardian angel. And I saw your pink colored undies, which Gia hates. But why did you do this, honey? Imagine everything Gia has been going through there. She doesn't even know the language. We want you guys to get back together. But mom didn't say a word to that. And as soon as we reached home, she called dad and told him everything. But dad, like always, wouldn't believe her. I'm not going to fall for your pranks, woman. Do you think I'm a fool? Of course I know it's my daughter. It's Ada. But minutes later, he called her back saying he knew from the beginning it wasn't me. Mom immediately got on a plane with me. When we landed at the airport, I saw Gia and dad waiting for us outside. I ran towards her and she hugged me as soon as she saw me. I missed you so much, sister. Minutes later, mom asked Gia to follow her and dad asked me to come with him. But I had to try one last time. Enough, you guys. We are not going anywhere. We want to live together like a family. Please, can't you do this for us? Yes, I want to live with Ada and mom. Not like this, where I feel so empty and alone and unloved. I want to be happy. Mom and Dad looked at us in complete surprise. Oh, honey, why would you ever think you're alone? No matter what happens between me and Mom, nothing could ever change the fact that we're alone. And we love you so much. You'll always have both of us. Then why 